Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Explain This. And as always, I am with the star of the show, Robin Riddle. Robin, Hello. how are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm excited for another episode. Absolutely. I really am. And we're going to talk about a really, really important topic as it pertains to performance medicine. Robin, the Cleveland Heart Panel. Explain this. Cleveland Heart Panel. So this is an awesome panel that we like to get on patients to really establish a baseline on overall how their health is doing. Um, so the Cleveland Heart is going to look at uh cholesterol levels. It's going to tell us how your good cholesterol is, how your bad cholesterol is. It's going to break down to even to particle size. How bad is your bad cholesterol? Do you have more of the kind that we don't want, which is going to be the smaller particles? Um, so it's going to break it all down, really show us, is this something that we need to be worried about or not? Okay. Um, we're going to get inflammatory markers. We're going to get a look at blood glucose levels. But more importantly, we're going to get a look at insulin levels. That's a really great way to to catch early on insulin resistance and go ahead and start addressing it before it becomes an issue later on. Okay. Um, we're going to get vitamin levels. So we're looking at omegas. We're looking at vitamin D, B12, folate, a lot of uh, vitamins that are super important for how your body is able to function. Uh, it's going to give us some genetic markers. So it looks at the MTHFR mutation, which that's going to change the way that your body can process certain vitamins and minerals. It goes a lot deeper than that too, but that's the basics. Um, it, the APOE gene, which is going to tell us if you have an increased risk for cardiovascular disease later in life. Then we can get our hormones through there. So we're looking at testosterone, estrogen, progesterone. We can look at um, ovarian function for women. And we're going to look at thyroid with that to see if we have any sort of thyroid dysfunction going on. So this is all on one panel. All on one panel. Wow. That is a... It's really awesome. <laughs> that's a whole lot of information. And I'm just curious... How do you go over all that in a visit? Like, what is that um, like? <laughs> I talk really fast. <laughs> no, it's really cool. I love those visits because I get to sit down and really dive in with the patient about what they have going on. Um, oh, because it gets adrenals too. I forgot that part. Uh, they can give me symptoms. I can look at their labs and tell them, hey, this this is why you feel this way. Yeah. Um, you know, sometimes patients just come in and they're like, I want hormones. I think my hormones are off. And so we do just a hormone panel. We do things like that in the office. Um, but for patients, who have kind of generalized complaints or really just as a baseline, I love to get a Cleveland heart and see what else is going on um, that you don't know about, but I, mean, I can help. It's like a really complete picture of somebody's it health. It is. It is. Now, one thing I would ask is like, say I, I don't think I have heart problems. I don't have a family history. You know, the name is Cleveland Heart Panel. Yeah. <laughs> you know, why would somebody like me or someone else who might not be having health issues at the time want to get one? It's great to have a baseline when you are healthy. Mm -hmm. So then we know, okay, everything's functioning great. You look awesome. Your vitamins are perfect. Your cholesterol is great. And then when you come back in five or 10 years and say, hey, something feels off, I know what's off mm -hmm. because we've had a baseline. We know where you were and we know what's changed. Um, and there can always be little things that we can tweak. Maybe your vitamins aren't perfect. Maybe you could use some more of your omegas to help protect you. Um, so it's really good to get that baseline, even on people who feel like they're healthy and everything's going great. Well, it's got to be a good, like, source of peace of mind. Yeah, you absolutely. Know, just, my health is good because, like, literally, you just named a whole bunch yeah. of stuff. Like, <laughs> We've it's amazing. looked at pretty much all of it in that. <laughs> now, um, now, tell me, how do I go about getting a Cleveland heart? If I'm a patient and I want to come in and get it, do I need to come in fasting? Should I come in the morning? What's your thoughts on that? So for the Knoxville office, which is where I'm located, and the Johnson City office, we don't draw it in office. Okay. The Kingsport office is able to. Um, but for our other two offices, we give you an order that you take to the Quest lab. You do go in fasting. That's eight to 12 hours with no food, black coffee, water only. Okay. Um, preferably drawn before 10 o'clock in the morning because that gives me a better look at the adrenal function. Um, but yeah, go in fasting in the morning, get that drawn. Usually takes about two weeks or so to process and get results back. And then we sit down and we go through all of it. I, I explain everything, what it means, how it works and what I can do for you. I love it. Robin, I really appreciate that. I really appreciate this. <laughs> this has been Explain <laughs> This, and this has been the Cleveland Heart Panel. I really appreciate you. This is awesome. Absolutely. Guys, you name it, we explain it. Put in the comments below, uh, anywhere on all of our socials. Uh, guys, put in topics, anything. We're going to explain it right here. Really appreciate you guys being here. We'll see you guys next time. Don't go away.